Buongiorno, buonasera e benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends. My name is Vincenzo and welcome to my channel Fountain Pen Therapy. I'm discovered another gem, I think, folks. Um, I'm hoping anyway. Uh, as I've stated in uh, several of my past reviews, I have been in the last several weeks and maybe a month or two been searching for inexpensive gems um, that I could add to my collection and that I could share with my audience for them to consider purchasing or or at least taking a look at. Um, and uh, I think I found another one. And um, this is what is referred to as being sold as the Lemon M1. Uh, in And it's the, the red model that I chose them because they come in different colors. Now, first thing to say is a most unfortunate name. I think it's a, Chi it's a Chinese pen, no doubt. And I, I think they um, misnamed this pen because here in our Western culture, a lemon is, is obviously has very pejorative uh, connotations. And it's I think it's a most unfortunate name. And now, whether or not it's a Jinhao, a Majon, an Asvine, or a Hongdian, Hong um, I'll give you my thoughts on this in a few in a few minutes when I start my review. But uh, it's also, in my view, a clear uh, clone of the Parker Duofold. It, another one, yes, another one. We'll take a look at some other Parker Duofold clones that uh, I have in my collection, and. Um, and do some comparisons. However, I think that this pen offers perhaps two very interesting differences and that I think that may, may make this pen worth looking at, at least I think. Uh, so stay tuned for the review. I'll be right back. So we're back here with the pen. Here's the pen. Um, I think it's a nice pen. Um, it's metal, um, so it, 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 it does have some weight to it. But as you could see, it's got, you know, the classic uh, cloned Parker Duofold clip. It's got some uh, gold trimmings, and I think it's offered in silver trimmings as well. It's got that logo at the top here. And let me just see if I could get that, my camera to cooperate. Here we go. Lemon. And what a most unfortunate name. How can you name a pen a lemon? Ah, God. Anyway. It is what it is, I guess. And it there there are various other, you know, finials that you could get. Uh, but that's essentially the outside of the pen. There's nothing really to 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 speak of. Uh, it is a clone, and we'll see in some of the comparisons. I will uh, during my size comparison. We'll we'll compare it to some other pens, and you'll you'll quickly see that uh, it is a you know it is a direct clone. Now. Um, you know, is this a Majon, an Asvine, a Jinao, or even a, an Ongdian? Um, what I notice is that what this has, which is very different from the others, uh, and which may make it an interesting purchase, is the fact that it's a piston filler. And the piston filler that I noted in this particular pen is exactly the same as the piston filler that I saw in some of my Ongdian pens. Uh, and, you know, I even tried, I flushed this pen out when I purchased it. And um, the same tool that I use for my Hongdian uh, pens works perfectly fine with this one. So I suspect it probably is a sub, sub branding of an Hongdian. Um, and between you and I, they chose the wrong name, Lemon, at least here for our Western culture. Maybe it it has some significance in in you know in China or in the eastern side of the world but uh, that I don't know of now the pen does come in uh, let me just uh, put on the screen for you yeah here you go it comes in uh, those different colors you can see it's burgundy red white black and that the uh, tealish blue and it comes in silver trimmings or in gold trimmings. And you can see I have a choice of nibs, which is very interesting. And it includes, uh, and I think your price uh, varies. Uh, if you, This is the one I chose. Uh, and when you choose it, you see that it, the price goes up to 27 If I chose a simple um, fine, is there a simple fine? Here we go. The price is 2011 So if you get the long blades or the long knife, as they call it, 
they and then the price goes up this m here is a 20. i don't know what the difference between blade m here maybe it's just because the long knife is a little bit wider we'll see how that pen writes so that's another thing that i think distinguishes this from some of its other clones or some of the other pens that have cloned the parker duofold uh and, and that hopefully makes it makes it worthwhile and we'll take a look at the writing sample and uh, we can decide together now what i did notice and which is most unfortunate because had i known before i would have gone or would have considered anyway purchasing this one um, because it's the titanium alloy version of that pen which looks really really nice i've got to tell you and even the um the the branding not the branding but the the finials uh are much more interesting look at the lemon one is much more interesting on this uh titanium and look at the how the gold um i may even consider purchasing this i just um i didn't have the patience to to wait but and you know i've got other priorities on my purchase lists that are all coming in and that i'll be reviewing within the next couple of uh couple of days if you will so uh there you have it um so it you know i i think it makes it a very interesting um review because it, it is a piston filler and we do have those beautiful nibs and i've chosen one of the larger ones and hopefully that will make a difference so why don't we go back to my review and take a look at the inside of this pen uh, to see uh whether or not in fact that blade looks as interesting as i want it to be okay just to bear with me um i think i've got a way to for this camera to finally cooperate so you can take a look at that beautiful tipping on that pen take a look at that um, notice the feed is a little bit off center which i'm going to have to adjust before the writing sample but take a look at that nib isn't that beautiful that's the that's that long blade and it's it's got a lot of tipping there so i suspect that this pen will give me a lot of pleasure at least i'm hoping that it will i haven't inked it yet i did flush it out uh and that could, should help and uh there you go there's the side view of that uh tipping so that should be very very interesting thank you very much so that's the uh, um essentially the uh, the uh, the nib uh, then of course you see the the um piston filler a very simple piston filler uh, you can see that it draws back you see the element there going back and forth uh, very similar to other on the end piston fillers and it makes a difference because you know what the other do fold clones that i have um, don't have a piston filler and some people uh, firmly believe that uh, it, it it adds value to to a pen when you have a piston filler does it post uh, yes it does it posts but it makes the pen extremely heavy uh, back weighted i i don't believe it it, it's a comfortable uh, situation uh, i'm also very fearful that you know by the posting may affect uh, the turning i should actually check it let me just see if i well it doesn't appear to uh, it, it appears to post further down so look at the turning i don't see the piston there at all so um unlike some of the other pens i don't think posting this pen will affect or unscrew or screw that knob so that's a good thing for those who prefer to to post their pens so that's essentially the pen now let's take a look at, at the weight of this pen just uh, just to see where it's situated because it is a metal pen um, let me just uh, remove that and put the uh, pen on so it's 45 grams so you can see it's it's a light metal pen because most metal pens frankly are you know 50 grams uh, and over um, i'm just very curious to see if that um, titanium is much lighter than that that would be uh, very nice in fact let me just uh, go back to the um, 
to my computer here and let's uh, this see whether or not in the details um, it provides uh, the weight they sometimes do and sometimes don't provide the details here we go uh, view more uh, does it give you a weight it, I don't see a weight there um, yeah and then the rest is just commentary so uh, yeah it doesn't appear uh, the weight doesn't appear so I don't know what that titanium weighs but I'm very tempted to to go and get it so that essentially covers the pen um, itself we'll be right back with a size comparison okay so here's the size comparison um, capped if you will compared to a, um, a Jinhao uh, Centennial uh, this is the Majon M600 I believe S in in the brown amber and in the blue purplish uh, this is an M uh, Majon M700 which by the way I will be reviewing probably next or sometime soon this one I forget if this is a Majon I found it a very interesting uh, combination of colors. It has it, it doesn't tell me because it has a Bach, Bach nib. But let me just open it up and see if uh, if I see anything that resembles. And man, it's a cheap converter. I'm wondering if this is the if this is in fact a Majon. Um, I can't tell. I apologize. I may I may put it up in the description just so that uh, I can complete this and not mislead you. But I found that very interesting very interesting pen and there of course is your is your lemon uh again what an awful name uh, it, it appears the lemon is slightly uh, smaller than all the rest uh it may be comparable to my uh, my Jinao uh, centennial there so there you have it we'll be right back with a with a um posted version okay here's the uh, posted version now i gotta tell you one two three and four don't post i, I i'm sorry the, the Majons don't post at all, so it, 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 they're just lying there. I see it's, they're laying there, but the, so I don't want to mislead you. They don't post. This one posts, uh, and the, but barely, even that one. Uh, the only two that really post properly are the Jinal and the, and the Lemon. But as you can see, uh, in terms of posting, it's probably the best one in terms of posting. It, it, you know, it, it is not as long as even the Jinal, which is a lighter pen. Uh, is a little bit too long in my view be right back with unposted and here are the pens uh, unposted and again very they're all very comparable uh, in fact uh, the lemon I would say is probably one of the shorter ones uh, in in the, in the slew of comparisons that I have before you but uh, still um, a very nice and comfortable pen uh, you know so not not a problem there there you have the size comparison so I think we that's been completed we will put on the screen some uh, measurements and then proceed to our writing sample okay so we're back with the <coughs> writing sample first of all the ink the ink that I chosen and maybe I miss mischose is this Tarasai Vino. Um, it's, it's meant to be like a dark wine color from Leonardo Officina Italiana. Um, I inked the pen and then when I went to check my swatches to present to my viewers here in this video, I, I realized that it is a little too purplish um, and it may not be, a per, may not be a, the greatest match for this pen in fact i may have i should have perhaps chosen this red passion from leonardo which uh, would probably have gone um, or matched a little bit better but you know sometimes writing with the pen will give us a different result so it's too late now i think the pet so we'll proceed with that color and see see what gives in terms of the journal that i'm using it's my uh trusted tomoe river uh, Sake TP 52 uh, GMS paper so let's get let's get the show on the road here we go not going to post a pen and um, that nib looks really 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 huge so let's see if I could get used to writing with it okay so this is the 
wow, um, I got to tell you, my immediate reaction is that it is really, really thick, um, uh, extremely thick uh, in terms of um, how it goes down, um, almost like a triple broad, if you will, um, and, and, and it's a gusher, and the maybe the ink is not helping. Um, so this is a burgundy red, which is with... Um, with gold trimmings. Trimmings, sorry. Um, and with a lemon um, <clears throat> lemon part uh, finial. Okay, that's the finial on top. Uh, in terms of the nib, it is a lemon branded number six steel double toned. And it is a 1.5 to 2 millimeter long blade or long knife, as it sometimes is referred to. Um, so that's the nib. <clears throat> now, I got to tell you, uh, very stiff and very thick and very wet <laughs> uh, to the point where I it, it may not be the best pen for me because it's so slippery and uncontrollable and gushing um, I wouldn't you know be hard for me to say that any nib is not thick enough because as you know I like big nibs but this is this is not a stub which uh, it writes very differently uh, and with my hand tremor, I, I, I'm not con in control of the writing, so to speak. Um, in terms of fast writing, I mean, look at, folks, this is a buttery smooth nib. Have no illusions, okay? So this is buttery smooth. It's a gusher. and most constant that feed uh, just keeps up wonderfully now you know some people like to see a reverse writing uh, i i know that this is we do this for our the people who, who use nibs to draw finer lines uh, but it's scratchy it's not comfortable it doesn't doesn't smoothly now can I get a different different angle get a different um, I seem to get a, maybe a thinner line than if I not really I I gotta tell you I'm not sure I'm getting that line variation that often is associated with some of these long blade nibs I think there are other alternatives like the the smaller sized uh, millimeter. Uh, I, I'm going to try to see if I can order and replace that with a smaller size. I've got a feeling that I have much better results. So let's look at my rating of this pen. I mean, I am getting used to it, but it, it you know, it's almost like a marker. <laughs> so my rating design I mean, look, it's a, it's a clone, so I, I would give it a zero uh, normally, but I think I'm going to give it, I'm just going to give it um, some points, let's say three out of ten, uh, because it's a piston filler. Okay, in terms of build quality, and here, if I'm correct, and I, I think there are other reviewers that suspect the same thing that this is actually a, 
but not viewers, but other reviewers, that this is a Ongdian pen. In fact, like all Ongdian pens, uh, this thing is, I, I'm going to give it a 9.8 on 10 for build quality. Um, I just really, it's a metal. So, but it's it, it still, it, I, I can't find anything built wise, anything wrong with this pen. That's the build. In terms of the nib, I think it's very interesting that we're offered all that variety. And it's not because I chose the wrong one or because it's the thickest one that it, it isn't a good nib. I think the nib is excellent. So I'm going to give the whole nib uh, variety and choice a 10 on 10. I think that if more pen companies would do that, you got some pen companies like Monte Grappa gives you fine and medium and that's it. And you're paying $10,000 for the pen. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So <clears throat> I, I, I give it a 10 on 10. Hooray for a 25 buck pen. Are you kidding me? Um, so that's the nib in terms of what's next value. Well, I just said it. I, I think uh, anywhere between 20 and $27 Canadian for a pen of this quality uh, is an excellent value. So I give it 10 on 10 there. Okay. And I am getting used to it, by the way. Uh, go to pen. I think if I would need, I can see where this pen could actually serve a purpose for people who like to draw. So if they have to fill in big gaps, color in real quick, this, this would do the trick. And if you buy two or three of them with different size nibs, uh, it could be something interesting. Um, I'm not sure I would use this as a go-to everyday pen until I really get used to it. And I am starting to get used to it um, just because I think it's too thick. But for particular, you know, if you need something like a marker sized uh, writing for whatever reason or something to make a bold statement on the document, uh, this could do the trick. But I don't think it's an everyday go-to temp, temp. So I... I would say, no, it's not going to be a go-to pen for me. Uh, not unless I change that. Um, no, no, because of the nib. And nib choice. Let's be precise here. But yes, for comfort. The pen is uh, extremely comfortable. Uh, and, and I can see it lasting for, uh, you know... Uh, long writing sessions <clears throat> there we go that's my review and it is by the way that ink didn't turn out to be as bad as i thought in fact it may be a perfect match <laughs> at the end of the day so there you go that's that's that uh, i hope you i hope i've given you some insight on another inexpensive pen that you could consider purchasing or at least take a look at I hope you appreciate this review. Please stay tuned. I've got several others coming and uh, giving you all kinds of choices and uh, so you can make the uh, the best uh, uh, best choice for your money. Uh, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, don't hesitate, uh, especially if anybody bought that titanium uh, version of this lemon pen, please let me know so I can make up my own mind whether or not it's worth, worth purchasing. Thank you very much and be well.